Welcome to Nuding Media. In this segment we were going to recap motivational and inspirational movies. Today I'm going to explain the inspirational movie, title Fireproof. At work, inside burning buildings, Captain Caleb Holt lives by the old firefighter's adage, never leave your partner behind. At home, in the cooling embers of his marriage, he lives by his own rules. Caleb and his wife have a fight. Regular arguments over jobs, finances, housework, and outside interests have readied them both to move on to something with more sparks, and he verbally attacks her. It's the straw that breaks her camel's back after a growing pile of problems stemming from his selfishness. She wants a divorce. After seven years of marriage, Caleb and Catherine Holt have drifted so far apart that Catherine wishes she had never married. A few days later, while Caleb was talking to his father on the phone, the alarm rang. It was an emergency sign for a rescue. A car wreck on a train trail, the driver is seen screaming in terror as a train bears down on her already mangled vehicle which rests on the tracks. Blood drips from her nose, and a friend in the passenger seat is unconscious. But suddenly a train is coming towards them. Caleb calls the dispatcher to stop the train, but the dispatcher is unable to contact the train operator. So Caleb decided to pull away manually the wrecked car from the train trail, and they struggles to pull it away. And as the train approaches them, the train almost strikes Michael. But Michael wasn't hurt and he thanked God for saving his life. Caleb's dad, after confirming Caleb still has at least a little desire to stay married, dares him to try a 40-day program called the Love Dare, which his dad says saved his own marriage not long ago. Caleb reluctantly agrees and starts following the program. So he starts with day one which prompts him to say nothing negative to his wife. Day two do something unexpected as an act of kindness. Day 3 buy something that tells her you're thinking of her. Day 4 call to check if she needs anything. Day 16 pray for her. Day 17 listen to her. Day 18 study her again. And on it goes but only going through the motions, which doesn't cause the desired change. It is shown that Caleb not only refuses to help his wife's parents with their medical expenses because he wants to save up for a boat for himself, but he also has an internet pornography addiction that makes her feel humiliated and worthless. Caleb's wife Catherine starts turning to her co-worker Dr. Keller for the comfort and understanding she's been missing from her husband. When Caleb tries making a stronger effort by fixing her a romantic candle at dinner, she shuts him down, telling him she does not love him. Caleb's dad convinces Caleb that Christ has loved him all this time, despite Caleb's rejecting him. He says Caleb needs Christ's forgiveness for lusting after the other women on the internet committing adultery in his heart.
Caleb starts a full-hearted journey back to God. Though discouraged that even now with his full sincerity in following the love dare, Catherine is not changing her mind about him one inch. He starts to focus more on becoming a good man and loving his wife through acts of kindness, whether she loves him back or not. Caleb finally destroys his computer and everything on it, giving up porn forever. Catherine believes her budding romance with Dr. Keller has paid off in an unexpected way. She is brought to tears when her parents finally receive the medical equipment they need for quality of life, due to his donation. Caleb finds an envelope from Catherine, and opens it, anticipating her glad return to him. Instead, he finds divorce papers, she's still going through with it. Caleb is devastated. While packing up his things, since he'll have to move out soon, he finds a greeting card from Dr. Keller to Catherine. After nearly dying while saving a child in a fire, Caleb confronts Dr. Keller and gets him to back off from his wife. We see that Dr. Keller is also married and had been hiding that fact. Catherine finds out that Dr. Keller only paid a very small portion of her parents' medical equipment bill and that the rest was paid for by Caleb. She comes to the fire station and tells Caleb that he is a good man, that she forgives him, and that she loves him. They embrace, and we know that, finally, all is well. Caleb reconciles with his mom, after finding out she wasn't the one who took the love dare for his dad, but it was his dad who did it on her request. Caleb himself comes up with perhaps the film's richest nugget, I have learned that you never leave your partner especially in a fire. And I'll note here in this spoiler paragraph that Caleb doggedly sticks to his 40-day love dare, and it utterly reshapes his attitudes and actions toward Catherine. The movie ends with the once again happy couple renewing wedding vows and a preacher talking about the difference between a legal marriage contract and a heavenly-minded marriage covenant. Fireproof is an extraordinary film, it tackles the struggles and problems faced in marriage and prompts us to think about our marriages, how we treat each other, our relationship with God and how God should be at the center of our marriage. Let's fireproof our marriages and put Christ at the center. And the movie ends here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.